This special broadcast of AEAC was made possible by Optison Sport Optics, RTI Arms, Diana, Daystate, FX Air Guns, Brocock, Air Arms, HN Sport, Myrow Sport, and JSB Match Diablo. And you guys know the best way to thank them. The use. The use. The use. All right, here we are again with Lily Yu and family, Optison Optics USA and, and World. And Optison Optics Europe, GmbH. Yeah, we're actually in Europe. And if you didn't catch it, uh, in January we were out in Las Vegas at SHOT Show, and I was able to spend time with Lily and her father Paul and her brother Philip, and we kind of made introductions there. So if you haven't caught that video, probably want to check that one out first. But on this kind of session, if you will, I want to drill down on product as it relates to us air gunners, okay? There's basically two, three lines of scope, the EVX, the EVE, EVE and, and the HX, HX, which what that means to you guys is basically it'll take you from about sub $200 price point on up to probably the $400 category. And all the way through there, um, it brings a, it'll bring a tremendous amount of value. Now again, you probably want to give yourself some context, head back to that first video, because we talk a lot about manufacturing, glass, um, who, their, uh, who their retailers are in the US, um, which is Utah Air Guns and Trainier. And they do actually are based in the US as well. They have a distribution center in Sparta. Wisconsin. In Sparta, Wisconsin. Yes. And so if you could, Lily, I've asked Lily to bring us through and give you guys an education on the different scopes and what they're used for and kind of like what they might mean to you. So maybe we start with the most economically priced, the HX. Yep. So how much money are we looking at here about? This is, we're, we're looking at about 199 the uh, retail mark. And this is a simple, uh, very, uh, we, very simple AO scope. And it's a 4 to 12 by 40. So, and we, we, we've uh, redesigned the AO bell so that you can, to allow our, air, uh, our shooters could mount as, as low as possible. Okay. So, uh, other than that, this is just a very basic, clean, and robust. Duplex, uh, duplex radical? Uh, EMD, like a mill hash in between the mill, okay. mill dots radical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is it, um, is it just this one, or do you have several in this lineup of the HX? At HX, we have the, also the non-AO version. Okay. But I think uh, for air gunners, um, later we will expand into more um, variety of the models. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, this one would be the most fit to the category. Okay. 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 Great. You want to uh, move on to the EVE, I guess. Yes. So for the uh, EVE is a one step further okay. to the uh, on top of the edge eggs. For the hunters that are uh, normally wants more light, it's a 30 millimeter tube. Okay. And um, simple, clean, all finger adjustable turrets. Okay, and where the HX was, we didn't take it off, was that a screwdriver? Or uh, like a, a uh, The concept is the same. Okay. It's a finger, um, a toolless design. Toolless. Okay, this is the same. Yep. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so uh, with cap turret, most of most of our hunters like uh, to keep it capped. So there is when they are in the field, they're uh, bumping and right. nothing can happen to the turret. Yeah, they That's don't like, they like. A, we call them like a sniper turrets where we can adjust them yeah. without caps, which yeah. right to your point is an ideal. Yeah. Out yeah, in the yeah. woods. Yeah. So um, optical system wise, they share the same good glass as EVX uh, line, okay. which we will go next. Okay. Now you guys didn't catch it on the last video, but these guys are really into glass, and their glass is amazing. And the EVX line is kind of that four hundred dollar price point. Yep. And same thing with the EVE line. The EVE line is a little bit like three hundred uh, to three hundred fifty. Okay. Yep. Okay. So it looks like those two lines share the same glass, but they're kind of different in features. While the HX, you probably haven't put as much money into the glass, right? 
the HS? Yes, yes. The uh, optical system-wise, it, it requires less glass. Less glass. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, the coating is. Yes, we have a budget. Uh, yeah, budget. no, and, and we and we have a budget. <laughs> yes. And what they want to know is, you know, what's different in the glass between the HX and the EVE and the EVX. Like, what is it? Is one brighter than the other? One more, one more clear than the other? EVX and EVE share the same optical system. Okay, right. So they are they. Um, when you look through it, it's the same. Uh, whereas between EVE, EVX, and HX, HX, they are actually equally good. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey. That's cool. It's just the uh, because of the zoom ratio. Yeah. Uh, it requires less glass. Okay. Um, and it's a one inch tube. Yeah. So all, overall, we were man we were able to manage uh, to put it under two hundred miles. That's what I love about this company yeah. is they're so transparent. And you know, we always immediately think less money. Mm. You know, it's not going to look as good. And that's I was I was taking you down that path, and I'm glad you talked about it. Yeah. You know the the the, the, the HX line is nothing to sneeze at. It's very no, nice. No. Yeah, 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 when, yeah. When you look through it. So okay. So back to the EVE. What reticles do you offer in this line? Um, in EVE, because most most of our um, consideration for the EVE is in hunting. Okay. So in EVE line, we offer the the standard. MH10 reticle, which is a mill hash reticle based on uh, 10, 10 magnification. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a new NMHD, uh, NMH10, which I designed it by listening to uh, what our US shooter wants. Mm -hmm. And so, where did you find that information? At SHOT Show. <laughs> <laughs> SHOT Show. I love it. You know, lost, uh, two years ago at SHOT Show. Mm -hmm. okay. they're, they're tuned in, guys. It's all good. Uh -huh. You're paying. It's a nice way of saying you're paying attention. Oh, okay. And we okay. appreciate it. Yes, we listen. Yeah. Uh, so most uh, U.S. shooters, they they told me rather than in the in England or in Europe where there is a limitation uh, of the shooting distance. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., it's it's much longer, so the drop could be heavier. So on the NMH10 reticle, mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. So the uh -huh. drop goes all the way to the edge yeah. so that it allows the shooter having more uh, adjustment range. And that's important to us air gunners because let's face it, you know, by the time you get out to 100 yards, depending on, or even 50 yards, you know, gravity is certainly working on, uh, <laughs> working, working on, that, on yeah. that pellet. Yeah. Now in the EVE line, I notice your adjustable objective is on the side. Yep. Is it also offered up on the front or is that just the HX line? Uh, just the HX line are uh, AO, uh, adjustable objective. objective. in the front. Yes, okay. and on the EVE, it's uh, all parallax. Okay, another thing on their parallax, it is like spot on, it's amazing. Put the laser on it and wherever that hits, it's like I, you can tell you guys have really put a lot of work into making yes. sure yes. that yes. that's optically that, well, correct. Yes. Distant, distancely, is that a word? Yes. Distancely, correct? Yes. <laughs> Uh, what we mark is what's true in parameter. We uh, we are we pay very uh, uh, attention to it because it makes no sense that something is marked. Right. And it's not. Hello. Not <laughs> <laughs> you yes. would think that would be common knowledge. Yeah. But it's yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> I would like my stuff to be marked that I can um, reference. Exactly. Thank um. you. Thank you. All right, great. So EVX is very similar to EVE, except that the turret is more geared towards the target shooter. Yes. However, I'm willing to bet that a lot of hunters are buying this still. But go ahead, sorry. Well, possible, long range. Yeah. Yes, 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 they, they also do that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, even though this is a target target, we make it lockable. So, um, the, the ch but uh, the chances of knocking it and and um, makes uh, and to touch the internal gear mm -hmm. is not is pretty slim. Yeah, and it, it, I I actually just finished a video last week where we featured this EVX. It was a four to sixteen on top. So if you guys want to 
get a kind of a close up with this scope and be able to look through the glass, like put the scope cam on it. Um, check out, it's that Air Arms S510XS from last week, Ultimate Sporter, and you can, feed, you know, you can, get a, you can see it more there. The glass is amazing, and are they all? They're, so this is a 50, so there's a 50 and a 42? 50, 44. 50, 44? Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, 44, 50, and 56. Okay. That's all we have. Okay, and then the the, um, the magnification, what's the range there in the EDX? Uh, we have a, from fixed 10 power uh, to 3 to 12, and then 4 to 16, 5 to 20, 6 to 24. Okay. This is the 4 to, the four to uh, sorry, 6 to 24. Okay. That uh, so far is most popular according to yeah. our feedback. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would guess the 4 to 16, the 6 to 24. Direct. Now we're about the $400 price point here. I think I saw them on new tire guns for $391. This one here, and that's yes. that's a excellent, excellent value. This is a second focal plan. Yeah, okay. And uh, at Eva, this one, which is first focal plan illuminated, ready. Okay. So is that maybe a little bit more money? Yeah, this is about six hundred, uh, four hundred sixty. Uh, okay, retail so, so not much more. Yeah, we've gone from about 400 to 460. Yeah. Okay. So first focal plane illuminated radical, otherwise the same as the uh, the EVS. Yes. Yes. Great. Excellent. Yes. Did we leave anything out? Is there anything? So far, so is there good. anything you want to tell every share with our friends back home? Uh, we really uh, genuinely thank you for the support for the. Um, for all the kindness that we receive from social media, Facebook, and also the recent British shooting show, all the shooters who uh, see us and come to say hello and being super friendly and um, passionate. And it, it, it makes all the works that put into the development worthwhile. So thank you for all. And we really, uh, between our family, uh, within our, between our family, we really feel the warmth from the society, and we especially want to thank, I say thank you to Steve for the wonderful work because uh, everyone from the recent British shooting show in the UK, uh, they 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 all came to say hello because of Steve. <laughs> well, because of you guys, but we had a wonderful little video together. That's the one I was referring to, in shot show where we got to know Lily and uh, the rest of the U family. Sincerely good people, transparent, wanting to do right by air gunners. And on that note, are we going to see you at the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge in June? Is that a yes? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we will be sponsoring at RMAC and uh, part of the family will be there. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I've already seen you on their Facebook, so you've taken that trip to Utah once already. And, yes, and I know yes. you're out there yeah. learning and how do yeah. we do better and yeah, yeah, use yeah. luck. Yeah. We are um, exercising. Preparing for it. <laughs> Good to hear. Well, we'll see you in June. Yes, see you in June. Lily, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yes.